find the third derivative of the given function. So we need to find first derivative, do that again second derivative and again third derivative. So review the previous sections. Okay, so here first derivative f prime is we got one, two, three, four terms. So derivative of first term five times two ten x to the fourth plus two times eight sixteen x minus three plus derivative of five is zero. So don't have to write. That's the first derivative. And let's find the second derivative. 10 times four, uh, 4 times 10, 40 x 1 less 3 plus derivative of 16 x is just 16 minus derivative of 3 is 0. No need to write that. That's the second derivative. Let's do one more time. So 3 times 40, 120 x is squared plus derivative of 16 is 0. So the th third derivative is 120 x squared. Okay, let's do the same thing for this function 1 over x uh, we can use quotient rule if you like or 1 over x is simply x raised to negative 1 because it's 1 when we move to the top x to the negative 1 then x n so we can use power rule now let's find the first derivative x n so derivative of x to the n is n x n minus 1 which is negative 1 x raised to negative 1 minus 1 negative 2 so this is negative 1 over x squared by the way but we live here because we need to find the second derivative again x n power rule so negative 1 is there times x n n x n minus 1 which is negative 1 times negative 2 just 2 negative times negative positive x raised to uh, negative 3. This is in fact 2 over x to the third. Okay, but we leave as it is because we want to find the third derivative. 2 survives times x n. Derivative of x n is n x n minus 1, which is negative 6 x raised to negative 4. This is our final answer. So let's let's get rid of this negative exponent so negative 6 over so negative 6 on the top but I want to pull that on the front x to the fourth final